Oh my god, he's totally a dominant mask for mask bear top. And, you know, all his Sikhs are like cubs and otters. And then there's me, just this submissive femme twink who, you know, can't give anything to him. Hey, it's Sassy Steven. So, pretty much that scenario isn't true. I just made up that sentence with all these terms, which pretty much this video is going to clarify for you. Um, the difference with gay terminology, and in my opinion, they can sometimes be used very demeaningly or discriminatory, discriminatory, or pretty much as labels, which sometimes we even put on ourselves. Like, I'll be honest, I've labeled myself as a these before. So pretty much how this arose to me was because of two friends of mine. One friend was telling me, oh, we were talking about this guy that I like that she knows that doesn't like me back. And um, I was pretty much like, oh, I'm so devo that blah, blah, blah doesn't like me. And she's like, oh, who wouldn't like you? You're like the hottest twink I know. And I'm like... Please, one, I'm not hot, and two, I am not a twink. And she pretty much said I was because of certain characteristics of mine. And then the second friend of mine, I was pretty much explaining that this person doesn't want someone that is a bottom because they are a bottom. And she's like, what's the bottom? So pretty much, this is going to clarify all that for you. So the first two I'm going to explain are top and bottom. So, pretty much, okay, I'm just going to define these with how I perceive these to be. Okay, so a top is pretty much the person who is more masculine in the relationship and pretty much is the one that gives it. And a bottom is pretty much the one that takes it. And if you must know, I am a bottom. But I have seen certain relationships or partnerships where it's reversed and sometimes even there's, okay, third word, versatile. Sometimes there's even some versatile couples where, like, you know, they'll flip-flop, okay. Flip-flop pretty much, okay, well, we're up to four already, and I'm pretty sure we haven't even done a minute of the video. Flip-flop pretty much means, um, pretty much you flip-flop. Like, sometimes you're on top, sometimes you're on bottom. You're, like, flippy-floppy. Anyway, yeah, and I think that's really interesting how certain characteristics are attributed to tops and bottoms, like a lot of people stereotype bottoms as femme or as less masculine or as pretty much always cock hungry and the tops are the ones that pretty much... Actually, I have heard something really rude about tops once. I heard someone say tops are pretty much like straight people because they still put it in a hole and I was like, that is really offensive. Anyways, that's the difference between tops, bottoms, versatiles, and flip-flops. Four in one go. First sort of group of gays, or subspecies, are twinks. So apparently I am this, according to Urban Dictionary. An attractive, boyish-looking, young gay man. The stereotypical twink is 18 to 22. Slender with little or no body hair. I'm not sure about that. Often blonde, I have been blonde, dresses in club wear even at 10am, yes, and is not particularly intelligent. Okay, that is so wrong, to be honest. A twink is the gay answer to the blonde bimbo cheerleader. I don't like going to that club because it's nothing but a bunch of twinks. Okay, now, I have actually heard that phrase before, and quite frankly, it disgusts me because... I really hate, okay, this is so bad labeling and it's sort of hypocritical for the video, but I hate when twinks label twinks, first off. I hate that. And I hate how people think that, oh, you know, twinks don't want other twinks. Okay, so if that's gonna happen, we're just gonna have a surplus of twinks and there's no one that's gonna be able to satisfy their sexual appetite. Okay, next off, I don't think I'm a twink. Okay, yeah, all right, I'm like boyish looking, I guess, but I think what I'm getting from twink is ditzy or slutty. I think that's sort of the perception and the stereotype that we get, that twinks are all slutty and they want like the hottest guys and pretty much they want the masked guys to do them and they'll get with a the twink guy but just to hook up with. But I am open to anything 
And the stereotype about twinks is that they're all bottoms, which I'm not sure about. But I actually have met a twink top. I've got a friend who's a twink top, actually. And I would say he's sort of cute. He's not blonde, but he's cute. Okay, next is bear. A term used by gay men to describe a husky, large man with a lot of body hair. George's sexual tastes run towards bears. Okay, so that is pretty much true. Because think of how a bear looks like. I guess that's sort of like what we're <laughs> attributing to these men that are like bigger or a bit more hairier. And most of the time they're definitely... Actually, that's... That's my thing. That's most of the time they're older as well. And most of the time bears like other bears, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Okay, next is otter. Um, I haven't really heard about otter that much until someone said it to me about someone else. So this is what it is. A gay man who is very hairy all over his body, but is smaller in frame and weighs considerably less than a bear. Okay, and then there's something called pups. So a pup is a gay adolescent young man with many of the attributes we associate with puppy dogs. Cute, inexperienced, naive, bright-eyed, eager, energetic, huggable. Similar to a twink, but with the possibility of a brain. Not as edgy or trendy, and minus the sense that they're always one step from being totally wasted. Okay, so I think if anything, I'm borderline pub, 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 and twink. So, I don't know, that's my opinion, because I do have a brain, and I'm not always ditzy drunk, hooking up with everyone in the club. Hint, I said not always. But, yeah. Cub is to bear, as pup is to wolf. Interesting. A wolf is apparently semi-hairy, muscular, lean, attractive, and sexually aggressive. So wolves are more of a personality thing than an appearance thing, I guess. Oh, okay, there's another one, chub. It's not really an animal or anything, but it pretty much means... I think it means a young guy that's a bit chubby that is like borderline, like he's, he's gonna be a bear when he grows up, pretty much. Okay, there's daddy, which is pretty much self-explanatory. A daddy is pretty much someone who's older that's looking for a younger person. So think of a sugar daddy. Pretty much, that's all I can pretty much remember about gay subculture. But pretty much, I would say I'm a twink slash pup. More on the twink side. But I do like pups, if they're tops, and I don't mind otters, and pretty much as long as they're a top, I don't mind. But if they were a bottom, I guess I could sacrifice. Anyway, so pretty much, if you understood what I was saying in those last few sentences, you got the point of the video. Bye.